as a fashion designer and artist, I'm really big on black female identity. So everything that I do has a deeper meaning to it, and it's seen in the collections that I create. Asha Daniels is a fashion designer with a passion for making inclusive clothing. Now she's coming forward as a new accuser with her own story about working as part of Lizzo's The Special Tour. As a black woman in the industry, whenever I kind of suffer an abuse or a injustice, I've kind of taken it on the chin and kind of just gone back to work. While she never interacted with the star directly, she's accusing the star's team of racial and sexual harassment. I'm coming into work with someone who has physically assaulted me, with someone who's threatened me, someone who is not allowing me to go eat when I need to eat. I think it's extremely damaging in the court of public opinion because of the image that we've all believed Lizzo to be. Daniel's complaints are part of a growing list of legal actions mounting against the pop star. Back in July, three dancers filed a lawsuit against the singer and her production company, alleging sexual and racial harassment, even assault, plus creating a hostile work environment. Lizzo is denying it all, defiant for all to see. From shopping sprees in Beverly Hills to popping up at Beyonce's show in L.A. For years, Lizzo has been known for promoting body positivity and self-love. Okay. With songs like About Damn Time. It's about damn time. I think vulnerability is sexy. I think vulnerability is extremely powerful. That's why, you know, you see me in my most vulnerable state. I was already a fan of her message about love, about women's empowerment, about black women's empowerment. And so I was really excited to get to design for this world stage where such a beautiful message was going to be delivered every night. I decided to go with this white lace. Daniels had already proven her chops on Project Runway. Seeing my look come down the runway, I am like, yes, God, honey. Later, starting her own line. She was beautiful. And eventually finding her way to Lizzo's tour in February. I feel very pretty. But within her first few days on the job, Daniel says things weren't quite as beautiful as she'd hoped, in particular with Amanda Namora, a supervising agent for Lizzo. She says she was helping her move a clothing rack when things started to go awry. She rolls over my foot with this really heavy rack. And so I kind of like wince and I'm like, wait a minute, my foot is really hurting. Like, yeah. I need to stop, I need to sit down. And so she pushes me into the rack and she says, don't make excuses, like take this rack. According to the claims in the lawsuit, Daniels claims due to being shoved, she lost her balance and rolled her ankle, which led her to wearing more comfortable shoes the next day to minimize the pain. She alleges Nomura demanded that she change into tennis shoes. And so I'm stunned because I've never had anyone put their hands on me, especially in a workplace, um, and of all places on tour with Lizzo. The only thing that's different between how she interacted with me and how I saw her interact with other people is that I was a black woman and she felt like she could get away with treating me that way. But Daniel says Nomura wasn't the only staff member who was unprofessional. She says the tour was an overly sexual workplace, pointing to one alleged incident in a team group chat with Lizzo staffers. You say in the lawsuit that there was a group chat with nearly three dozen people, more than 30 people, and there were times that what was discussed made you uncomfortable. There is a picture that was sent to all 30 plus of us of a porn star who was erect and his genitalia was out. Management was in that group chat as well. Nobody reprimanded the person who sent it. Daniel says she was inspired by the three young dancers who were also suing Lizzo to tell her own story about working for the star. When I saw them speak up, I thought that's what strong looks like. And I was really proud of them because I knew how toxic the work culture was on that tour uh, firsthand. The two lawsuits are now renewing scrutiny about Lizzo. We reached out to Lizzo and her attorney to sit down with us. They declined. Daniels claims she heard a senior staffer on Lizzo's team mocking the girls and even Lizzo herself in a racist way. You say that uh, Amanda would allegedly mock 
Lizzo. Yeah. Amanda would regularly mock both Lizzo and the big girls, and she would re refer to them as fat or just like a bevy of like really inappropriate things, useless, lazy. And I told her like, this is actually really offensive. And you know, she just laughed it off. Most of your allegations are against Amanda Nomura. What about Lizzo herself? Since you never interacted with her, how much responsibility do you think she has in all of this? I'm a business owner myself, and I was so shocked that Lizzo's workplace wasn't in line with who we know as the star Lizzo. So I can say in my own life, I'm responsible for the people who work for me and who work on my projects, and I think that everybody is. Asha was let go by Lizzo's tour manager just a few weeks after joining the team. We reached out to Amanda Nomura for comment. She didn't respond. I think being famous puts a target on your back, but I think anyone who's known online, if there's a parasocial relationship that someone has with the public, there's always a risk of something happening. Lizzo recently received a humanitarian award from the Black Music Action Coalition, where some of her dancers introduced her talking about her positive impact on them. For a lot of us, you know, um, she was the first person to ever believe in us and actually just like show us love and believe in our talent and our craft. And we thank you so much for that. Yeah. Thank you so much. The singer later said in her acceptance speech. And I'm going to continue to put on and represent and create safe spaces for black fat women. On the day that Lizzo received that award, a spokesperson for Lizzo sent Impact a statement saying in part that Asha Daniels' lawyer tries to sully this honor by recruiting someone to file a bogus, absurd publicity stunt lawsuit who, wait for it, never actually met or even spoke with Lizzo. We will pay this as much attention as it deserves. None. Would you ever go on tour with another artist? Absolutely never. <laughs> really? Yeah. I want a world where black women can come and perform at the height of their career for their talent and not suffer these abuses and not be silenced and not be treated unfairly. Our thanks to Janae. For more, the full episode of Lizzo's Legal Limbo is now streaming on Hulu. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.